Hi guys, just wanted to go over a zebra trick I use. That's very handy. I'm sure it has been mentioned a lot by a lot of the zebra masters, but I thought it was worth repeating. It's basically to block out a model using uh, primitives, this IMM primitive brush in ZBrush 4R8. So the way I do approach this is probably one sphere for the head, I drag it out and uh, push it out to this shape, drag another one, mirror it, uh, use eye, another one in the center, push it around for, to the shape, one for the neck, into that shape, one for the torso, and then so on. The cool thing about this is uh, that you can both push around the silhouette, so affect all these different colors at once or push them around individually because these are all separate groups but they're all one subtool. To do that you just uh, use the move brush and uh, turning on this topological setting here. It's under this brush menu, uh, auto masking and on the bottom here and you toggle that and you can just move everything around just like this. And turn on. Just each. By doing this method uh, there's a benefit, uh, you get a very uh, clean surface and uh, defined shapes. You can work in a shape language like all the illustrators and the designers do. It's easier to... Uh, it's really easy for a stylized character. And once I'm done, uh, I just hit this dynamesh and then all combine everything. And at that point you can just go in with a smooth brush, and smooth out these surfaces, fill in the gaps, and I push them pull, and then this is what I end up with. Yeah, this is uh, Ultraman. It's based on a concept done by uh, GopGap. It's an amazing concept artist, so please check it out. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, good luck with your projects. Thank you.